The other day we talked about Call of Duty Zombies in World War II following real life events, or rather being based in fact rather than surrounded completely in fiction. Yes, a lot of this is going to be made up narrative simply because, well, zombies never actually happened in World War II, but based off of some facts, that will be the stems and the building blocks for what we see in the Call of Duty Zombies mode. But a couple of things also that were mentioned out of the same interviews with Glenn Schofield and Michael Condry talking about the Zombies mode and multiplayer and campaign and all that kind of stuff gave us a little bit more insight into what we could see here in terms of how the game will play, what it might feel like, and maybe even a little bit of a different view overall in general. So that said, we're gonna be talking a little bit about zombies, a little bit more than what we did the other day, talking about a potential third person mode, the horror aspect of it, and what we can see in terms of familiar gameplay. So with that said, let's jump right into it. Once again, recapping a little bit here with this, Michael Condry and Glenn Schofield did an interview with Edge Magazine a couple of days ago, in which they gave some information about campaign, multiplayer, and zombies, but not all that much was said about zombies, simply that it would be based off of real life situations that happened and then taken and construed a little bit to make the narrative that they want to push. But another thing that they mentioned that is also incredibly awesome to think about, they said that it will be unique to our Dead Space signature. For those of you guys that don't know too much about Sledgehammer, they worked on a series called Dead Space, which was a major hit about a decade ago at this point, which then followed up all the way up until Dead Space 3 in 2013. But basically, Dead Space was this on the edge of your seat, horror thriller type game, and it was something that was absolutely fantastic. If you've ever played it, you'll know exactly what to expect. You're definitely gonna get some chills, some jump scares, things like that. And it's something that some people might be a little bit cautious going into World War II Zombies if it's anything like this, simply because it was unnerving. But Dead Space aside, taking what may be some of the signature feels from it, we can start to maybe piece together a little bit of a visual and representation of what we can get for Call of Duty World War II Zombies. And one of the more prominent things being the third person mode. And this is something that might throw some people off, some people may not like this, but it does fall in line with a decent history that Sledge has with third person. Third person, of course, was in Dead Space, and that was something that really was one of the signature vibes of that and how you played it. But what also might point to a third person version of Call of Duty Zombies in World War II is the fact that Sledgehammer worked on previously a little bit of a project called Call of Duty Vietnam, which was supposedly going to be a third person only Call of Duty title. That was later scrapped and then pushed to the side and then ultimately canceled because Sledgehammer got brought on board to work on Modern Warfare 3 with Infinity Ward to try and help them make the deadline for that release. So once they got put onto that, that was kind of pushed to the wayside and then eventually canceled, but the history of third person is still there, and a lot of people from Sledgehammer when interviewed said that they loved that development of that game. So perhaps we see the Dead Space and Vietnam gameplay style come together into one and keep that overarching third person mode. As for the gameplay and the genre overall, I definitely think this will be the scariest game of the zombies iterations that we've seen thus far in Call of Duty, simply because Dead Space once again was that unnerving horror type of game Game that really just pitted you on the edge of your seat. I definitely think this will be it and it'll be interesting to see how it plays out because Dead Space was also a survival game so if you put it into that context we don't necessarily need to do round based things more so just maybe how long you can survive more of an open world type thing with more zombies gradually coming in at a time at you so kind of round based but not necessarily more so just time based and seeing how long you can survive. That'd be something that would be interesting to see how that works as well, but I definitely think that there's going to be some major changes here with this, most notably, once again, potential third-person mode, which I don't know if that would catch on or if that will be a thing, but it's something we could totally take away and see as a possibility, and of course, I definitely think that this is going to be a much scarier zombies based off the Dead Space feel. I feel like Sledgehammer is trying to reintroduce Dead Space, not as Dead Space, but take their accomplishments with that and fuse it with an already successful franchise in terms of the Call of Duty brand with zombies and make it just something that fans will love, but also keep them on the edge of their seat and wanting to come back for more. So that said, that's my idea and where I think zombies will go in World War II. Once again, while not too much is given, but will be given at a later point in time, this is a nice little piece where we can take a look at where this might be able to go. We can draw parallels and see what could work 
whether it will or not, that's for time to tell, but it's a decent indicator and starting point that we might end up being able to look at as time goes by to see more and more of, will this look anything like this? So that said, that's going to wrap it up. Just want to bring you guys my thoughts here on it and some things that we might be able to look forward to within Call of Duty World War II Zombies. Drop your thoughts down below if you guys agree with anything that I said here. If you guys have anything that you might want to add, feel free to drop it down there in the comment section down below. It's all theory and discussion, so there is no right or wrong answer. So drop whatever you want down there. But if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you drop a like down below. And of course, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe to stay up to date with everything we have here regarding Zombies, Zombies Chronicles, Black Ops 3 multiplayer, Modern Warfare Mastered, Call of Duty World War II multiplayer, and Zombies, and everything else like that. Also, if you guys want to follow me over on Twitter, that's the best place to get calculated outside of YouTube. I practically live on Twitter, so if you guys want to strike up a conversation, ask me a question, whatever it may be, link is down there in the description below. But all that said and out of the way, hopefully you guys have a fantastic day. Thanks so much for watching. My name is Nicole Espresso. Take care and peace.